Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will see one more feature of SPSS that is graph builder. Creating graphs in SPSS is an essential aspect of data analysis, allowing researchers and analysts to visually explore and present their data effectively. SPSS Graph Builder provides a user-friendly interface for building various types of graphs, from simple histograms and bar charts to more complex scatter plots and line graphs. In data analysis, understanding the distinction between the categorical and continuous data is fundamental, as it influences the choice of statistical methods and visualization techniques. Let's see the data types. The first one, categorical data. Categorical data represents the characteristics or qualities. It consists of categories or groups with no inherent order or numerical value. Examples include gender, ethnicity, marital status, types of cars, for categorical data, we use the count, that is frequency. We can count how many male employees are there, how many female employees are there, how many are married, how many are unmarried. So we are counting. Now let's talk about the continuous data. Continuous data represents measurements and can take any numerical value within a range. These data are infinitely divisible and can have a fractional values. Examples include height, weight, temperature, income, etc. For continuous data, we use measure. That is, we can measure the mean height of the class, mean weight of the class, median, we can measure median height, median weight, mode, standard deviation, and variance. Now, let's go into the data set, employee data. So this is the data set which is available in SPSS, all the versions. In first column, we are having the ID of an employee. In second column, gender, male, female. So it is a categorical data. So we'll be working on count here. We will count the frequencies, birth date, education. It's a ordinal data. And here also we will count that how many employees have completed the education uh, till the 12th standard. Job category, three job categories are there, clerical, custodial, and managerial. As it is a job category, we will count salary. It's a continuous data. And therefore, we can have a mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and variance of it. Salary begin is again the continuous data. Job time, continuous data. Previous experience, continuous data. Minority here is, is captured in yes and no, so it's a categorical data. Now click on analyze, uh, click on graphs, not analyze, click on graphs, chart builder, click OK. Double click on the first bar chart. So it will require X axis. Now pick up the gender and drop it into the X axis. So you can see it gives me the chart according to the count. How many males are there? How many females are there? You can change the statistics from here also. Now click on OK. The chart is ready. Now you want the frequency on this graph. Double click on this. Click here and you will get the number. So female employees are 216. Male employees are 258. Let's proceed further. Again click on the history dialog box. Click on chart builder. Click OK. Now in this count, if I pick up the current salary and drop it into the count, can you see it gives me the mean, mean current salary. I can change the statistics from here. That is, the graph is to be generated on the basis of mean, median, mode, minimum, maximum. There are a range of options available. At present, keep mean only and click OK. So you can see here, the female mean salary, the male mean salary. Now I want the salaries to be displayed on this bar chart. Quite simple. Double click on it. Click here and done. So the mean salary of the female is $26,032 and the male is $41,442. Now again click on it. Chart builder. Click OK. Activate this uh, clustered bar chart, but before that, 
press reset double click on clustered bar chart so we will have to specify the x-axis and y-axis so in x-axis we will take the employment category drag it and drop it the next thing which we have to do is on y-axis we will take the current salary drag it and drop it into the count so mean current salary now in cluster we will take the gender pick up for the gender from here and drop it into the cluster so click ok and the output is ready mean color mean current salary in clerical mean current salary in custodial mean current salary in managerial and the color represents male and female double click on it and pick up this so data labels and you will get the figures also it's quite impressive to work in graph builder again go back activate the chart builder click ok now in this same chart i want the beginning salary also pick up the beginning salary and drag it and drop it a plus sign will appear but remember one thing as soon as i will drop the beginning salary here the gender will no longer be there this uh, this graph will be uh, developed on the basis of indexes pick up the beginning beginning salary and drop it drag it on the top plus sign appears drop it so it is giving me that uh, the the graph will be developed on the basis of index click okay and click okay so now this graph is on the basis of Current salary is the blue color, beginning salary is the red color. Double click on it. Click here. Close. Again, we will go in chart build. Click OK. And click on reset. Double click on stacked bar chart. Pick up the employment category and drop it here. The next axis. Now there are two options available. I can pick up the gender and drop it into the stack set color and click OK. This is the first option. I'll click on it. Click on the data labels. Close and it will give me the data labels. Okay, again click here, chart builder, click OK. Now I will pick up the current salary and drop it into the count. And I can remove this gender from here, fill it. Uh, I think that the gender is also necessary, so pick up the gender, drop it here, click OK. So now it will give me the it will give me the mean current salary. Double click on it. That was a count, right? That was a count. So two options are one, you can generate the stack bar chart on the basis of count and another is on the basis of measure. Click here. Let's proceed further. Again, click here, chart builder, click okay. Now we can activate the filter from here. So let's pick up the minority status, drag it and drop it. So filter is active now. Now we only want the mean current salary according to the gender and employment category, but the person should be present in the minority. So minority indicator should be on. I don't want for those who are not present in minority. So cross it. So the filtering has been done. Click. Okay. Double click on it. Click on the data labels. Close. So this is for the employees who are present in minority. Again, go here. Chart builder. Click okay. Click on the minority classification. Now, I want uh, the the graph of 
those who are not present in my red team. Take this up and cross it. Click OK. So two separate charts I will get. One for the employees who are present in minority and second for the employees who are not present in minority. Again go in chart builder. Click OK. Now press reset. Double click on it. Now this is a 3D bar chart. So I'll have to specify x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. So on x-axis, take the employment category, drag it and drop it. On z-axis, take the gender. And click OK. The chart is ready. Double click on it. So you can see uh, the data level is not active. No need to worry. Now again go in chart builder, click OK. Transfer current salary into the account and click OK. So now this 3D bar chart is for the mean current salary according to the employment category and the gender. Again go in chart builder, click OK. Now pick up the beginning salary and drop it into the plus sign. Drop it into the plus sign. It will give you, uh, it will give me the warning that the chart will be developed on the basis of index. Click OK and click OK. Done. So the current salary, beginning salary. It's quite interesting that now we are having two bars of different colors. Again, I will go in the chart builder. Click here. Click OK and double click on cluster 3D bar. Before that, press on reset cluster 3D bar. I'll have to specify X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. So on X axis, let's take the gender or uh, let's take the employment category that is better. Okay. Employment category. On Z axis, I will take the gender. And in cluster set, we will take the minority. Click OK. So this is the this is the chart generated on the basis of count as all all the variables are categorical. Employment category is categorical data, gender is categorical, and minority classification is categorical. Now let's go again in the chart builder. Click OK. And in the count, we will drop the current salary. And now click OK. So this is on the basis of mean current salary. Let's proceed further. Again, I'll click here, click on chart builder, click OK. Pick up the beginning salary, drag it and drop it where the plus sign appears. Drop it, click OK. You can see here, in the cluster, the minority was there. As we have transferred one more variable, now the minority classification is no longer active as it cannot generate the chart for so many dimensions. So click OK. So current salary, blue color, beginning salary, red color. Now as it is a continuous data, I again repeat this sig. It will generate the chart on the basis of me. Again, we will go in the chart builder, click here, chart builder, click OK. Now, double click on this stacked 3D bar, but before that, press on reset. Double click on stacked 3D bar. On X axis, we will take employment category. And on Z axis, we will take the gender. In stack set color, we'll pick up the minority, drag it and drop it. Click OK. So this is the stacked 3D bar chart. Again, I'll go in the chart builder. Click OK. Now in the count, I can pick up the current salary and drop it into the count. Now it will be on the basis of mean. 
Yes, it is on the basis of mean. Click OK. So, the mean current salary of according to the employment category and gender, minor, minor classification, yes and no. Again, go in chart builder, click OK. And let's pick up the beginning salary and drop it into the mean current, current salary. So, just observe this thing. Minority classification uh, will be changed to index. Pick up this and drop it here. Click OK. Can you see it has changed? Click OK. So, this is the stack 3D bar. Now, as the current salary was there, the chart has been developed on the basis of me. Let's make one more change. Again, I'll go in chart builder. Click OK. So this chart is active. Pick up the minority classification and drop it into the filter. I only want the graph of those employees which are in the minority. So pick up the node, cross it. Click OK. And done. So filtered by minority classification variable. So this was all about SPSS Chart Builder. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. I also uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Kindly refer to my playlist. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social media as link given in the description box.